Good morning, I'm Dr. Jeff Nickel. Here's an email question from a cat owner. Um, pretty important. Multi-cat household, physical illness of victim cat ruled out, urinates in the litter box, but defecates everywhere, actually running while doing so. Her brother is the bully, and she is now separated from him. She actually trembles when she needs to defecate, and her ears twitch too. Then she just starts running and defecates on the run. Our veterinarian ruled out blockage and spinal injury. Well, number one, they've done the right thing by going to the veterinarian and having physical issues addressed and make sure there's no infections. But this little cat is one scared kitty. Clearly, from the history, I can tell that she was defecating in the litter pen at some point, and this other high-status cat snuck up and pounced on her, scared the daylights out of her, and with cats, only one aversive event is enough for them to carry fear of that context, really for the rest of their lives. So now she goes near a litter pen, she doesn't want anything to do with it, but she has to defecate. So when the feeling comes on her, she starts to become afraid, and she knows that this bully, the other cat, is going to be after her. So she takes off running and defecates as she goes. This is a very poor quality of life, and this cat's scared almost all the time. First thing that they have to do with these cats is, number one, give the high-status cat something to hunt and prey on. Cats are wild animals we keep as pets, and he needs to stalk and hunt interactive toys so that he doesn't go after the low-status cat and treat her like a rodent. Second thing is that they need to do right now is separate these cats for a little while, let everybody cool down. Both of them need to be on anti-anxiety medications. Everybody needs to cool down and just feel a lot better. Third thing they need to do is to give these cats, all of them in the household, floor-to-ceiling cat trees where they can climb up, look down on life, Put, uh, put the cat trees right next to windows and mount uh, bird feeders, bird houses, with little suction cups. You can get these at Wild Birds Unlimited and they can sell you with a little film so that the birds can't see in but the cats can see them. A fish tank is another great way for people to keep their cats occupied. But these cats need an enriched environment. Cats are not house plants that we just feed and clean the litter pan and we're done. They really need to have their individual needs addressed and that's why these cats are treating each other that way. I'm Dr. Jeff Nickel. Tony and I thank you for watching.